Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're gonna be talking about the importance of controlling your emotions and really making sure that you pay attention to the way that you react and respond to things. Now, I do wanna preface by saying this is not to gossip, this is not a little drama celebrity channel, but my point here is to show what not to do and to learn something really from a relevant situation that we've all watched unfold this week. I'm sure you've all seen the original clip at this point, so I'm not going to show you that clip. Um, I am gonna show you a clip from Jim Carrey at the end of the video because I think that he offered a great perspective from someone who is in Hollywood and just kind of gets it. Um, but first I'm gonna offer my words of wisdom to all of you and what can be learned from this. The ability to control your emotions and the way that you respond and react to situations that might not necessarily be in your favor says a lot about you. And the reason is that when you act out of emotion, you aren't thinking logically and you let your emotions get the best of you to a point where you're unable to control them. Not only does that show a lack of control of your emotions, but also just a lack of control of your life. And this is why it's important to really take a step back, take a few deep breaths, give yourself a moment and really genuinely think before you respond. I guarantee you, with almost 100% certainty, you will be happier with the outcome that you get if you give yourself time to really genuinely think things through in a logical way instead of so emotionally. And again, I can say with 100% certainty, not to toot my own horn here, but if Will Smith would have taken a moment to genuinely think his actions through, he would not have waltzed up to that stage and smacked Chris Rock across the face. And he clearly didn't think this through because he didn't think about the potential consequences of his actions, all the people it would negatively impact, including himself, his wife, and his family, uh, his reputation, all the people who look up to him as a role model and then he slaps someone across the face and kind of exhibits that violence is okay. So there's a ton of other things that he clearly did not consider either because he acted solely out of emotion. And sadly, acting out of emotion is what gets a lot of people in trouble. And this is just a prime example of that. Sadly, this is something that's also going to live on the internet forever. And this just goes to show that in a matter of literally seconds, you can change the way that you're perceived by everyone around you, the people who look up to you, the people who love you. And it's so important to be aware of this. And again, to really logically think things through before you act solely out of emotion, because it does doesn't help anyone, it doesn't benefit anyone, and honestly just makes you look stupid in the long run. And just thinking here for a second, how many men do you think have ruined their lives by acting out of emotion? How many men do you think are in jail because they acted out of emotion? How many men do you think regret their decisions with everything in them because they acted out of emotion and didn't think things through logically? Whatever the answer is, whatever the number is, I know it's far too many and I don't want that to happen to any of you. So as unfortunate as this whole situation is and how, you know, not the greatest it is, I think a lot can be learned here. And the moral of the story is that it's okay to disagree with someone or stand up for yourself or stand up for someone that you love, but to physically assault someone because you didn't like a joke they made is simply not okay. And it doesn't matter who you are. I think this was incredibly embarrassing, it was fragile, it was weak, and it shows a deeper rooted problem that probably has something to do with the ego. And I don't want to go too far into the past here or why Will felt the need to slap someone on stage in front of millions of people because it's really, at the end of the day, not my business what the past is or why he did something. But I do wonder if it's a feeling of inadequacy or the need to prove himself to not only his wife but also the world. Overcompensation maybe, I really don't know, but it always shows a deeper problem regardless of why he did it. Doing something like this always shows a deeper rooted issue. It's never a good look and quite simply just always makes you look bad. And I'm not trying to say that Jada was in there whispering in his ear, Will, go up and smack Chris Rock across the face because I didn't like the joke he made. But just in general here, if a woman ever tries to get you to do something like that, huge red flag. If you feel even like you have to do that to get a girl to respect you or appreciate you or wanna be with you. Again, like I mentioned a million times already, there is a deeper rooted issue there that needs to be resolved. You should not feel like you have to do that and the person you're with should not be making you feel like you need to do that. And as for Chris Rock, I think his sales have doubled. I don't know exact numbers here, but he's doing incredibly well now because of the way that he handled himself with grace and poise on stage after he was just smacked across the face. I can't even imagine what I would do in that situation, but the fact that he just stood there and was like, 
Will Smith just slapped the out of me. Like, holy moly, that was wild to watch. So it's just funny, like you slap someone across the face because you don't like what they said. You end up humiliating yourself and actually making that other person more respected than you. So all in all here, could have handled this way better. Violence is never the answer. Fighting fire with fire only makes the flame bigger. So by slapping someone because you don't agree with something that they said is only going to make you look stupid. And again, like I mentioned, it's okay to disagree with something that someone says or stand up for yourself or someone that you love, but to assault someone on national TV in front of the entire world, simply not the move. To wrap this up here, do not risk ruining your reputation over the inability to control your emotions. The way that you respond and react says everything about you. Keep this in mind, you know, things in life aren't always going to go your way. People are gonna say rude things to you. People are gonna be mean to you. But the way that you respond to that and the way that you react to it is a bigger reflection of you than what that other person says to you, right? So control the way that you hold your emotions, you keep your composure, and the way that you respond and react to things, especially things that don't necessarily go the way you wanted them to. And just to offer a woman's perspective here, because that's what my channel is all about, if my fiance walked on stage and slapped someone across the face on national television because of a joke someone made to me, I would be so embarrassed. If my fiance lost his cool, did not stay calm and walked up to someone and assaulted them, I would be appalled. And again, this is just my opinion. Don't get all crazy in the comments here. Think about things logically, maybe not emotionally. Really, let's practice what I'm preaching here. Um, I can't imagine cheering something like that on. I know that there were a lot of women who agreed with this, but I think that's a red flag. If a woman agrees with assault uh, because of a joke, I think that's just a red flag in my book. So I could not imagine cheering that on or approving of that or feeling good about that if someone did that for me. I don't know, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm also going to offer Jim Carrey's perspective here because I think as someone in Hollywood, as someone who was at the event um, and kind of experienced it firsthand, he offered a really great perspective. So I'm gonna show you that now. I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is, a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. There was some question today about if anyone else had walked from the audience and done that, they would have been escorted out by security or maybe even arrested. The police asked, asked Chris if he been. wanted to file charges. They asked Chris, do you want to file charges? And Chris apparently said, no, he did not. He doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd have, I'd have uh, for, announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous. You know, that insult is going to last a very long time. If you want to yell from the audience and disapprove or sh show a disapproval or say something on Twitter or whatever, you, you know, you do not have the right to, to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. No, no, I agree. I, I think we all agree on that. I just thought, Jim, that it escalated to that. You know what I mean? That it escalated to that level. It didn't escalate. Mm -hmm. It came out of nowhere because Will has something going on inside him that's frustrated. And I, I, I wish him the best. I really do. I don't, I don't you know, mm -hmm. I don't have anything against Will Smith. He's done great mm -hmm. things. But that was have not a to... good moment. It cast a, a pall over everybody's shining moment last night. You know, a lot of people worked really hard to get to that place and to have their moment in the sun and to, to get their award for the really hard work they did. And, a, and, a, and it, it is no mean feat to go through all the stuff you have to go through when you're nominated for an Oscar. It's a gauntlet of devotion that you have to do. And, uh, and you know, just it was just a selfish moment to cast a pall over the whole thing. So I would love to hear what you guys think down in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? We'd just love to hear all of your perspectives on this as well. Again, let's practice here thinking through our comments logically instead of freaking out, being all emotional. It never looks good. Again, keep that in mind. If you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.